Hey guys, and how are you going again? And today I want to be doing um, some post classification smoothing. So, post classification smoothing involves where you find all of the outlier data and you remove them. So, after I finish my classification of my area, um, I want to first go ahead and go into classification, then post classification, then I want to go to C classes. And then I just want to go ahead and click on the classification layer, which I just created. Um, you can see this is a max likelihood classification type. And then you want to go ahead and click OK to select it. And then you want to, holding down control, um, select every single one of your classes. And then you can um, change the pixel connectivity and the minimum size. If you want to know what these are, you just go ahead to the help um, question mark and you can find out how they work. So the minimum size is essentially um, the like number of pixels which will be selected. So for example, if I have just one point out here by itself, it will not be selected. Um, actually, it'll be up to two, I think it is. Oh, so it's the minimum size, minimum size. Yeah, so this one will not be selected. So it has to be a minimum size of two, which are like um, directly next to each other in order to be selected. Um, and you can change this as, as much as you want. And you can also change the pixel connectivity which is um, how many pixels around it it'll use to um, define if it's like misclassified, uh, if it's in the incorrect area. So for example, if I have a red one surrounded by um, eight greens, then it'll know it's in the wrong area or something like that, right? Uh, so then if you want to preview this at different, um, different parameters, you can just go ahead and click the preview button and it'll show up. And it'll produce all of these little black ones. Uh, but before I do that, let me just go, let me just say, um, make sure to output it to somewhere where you want it. Great. Uh, so let me just get mine back up. So these, these little black dots are all my areas, which I want to get rid of because they're misclassified. They're as they're a part of the wrong class. So um, previously they were defined as urban when they should have been defined as forest, which is dark green. So Steve classes will find them all and will change them to black. So they were all red. Uh, now I want to locate them all. And then what you want to do is you want to actually classify them as something else. So in order to do that, you just have to go up to clump classes. And it's exactly the, the exact same process. You, But this time, other than clicking on the classified layer, you now want to click on the um, sieved classified layer. So hit OK, OK on that one. And then you want to go to uh, use the help section if you want to figure out how this works. Um, but essentially all this will do, do it'll um, pick up all of the C black dots and it'll change them. So you can just preview that if you want to check that out. And what that will look like is it will look something like this. So uh, you can see that we've had all of these incorrect points here, which we did not want. And then we selected them all with with uh, seed classes, and then we change them to forest, what they're supposed to be using clump classes. So that's how to do data smoothing after you've done your classification. Next, we'll be looking at um, some error assessment, assuming you have uh, an image or proper regions of interest to base it off of.